A lot of people, me included, have found the way Claude calculates their usage limits to be a bit confusing. So I wanted to create a quick video to clarify and share my thoughts on how it all works. Claude works a bit different than other providers, like ChatGBT, where you get something like 100 messages per week with motto XYZ. With Claude, the limits aren't just based on message count. They are also based on sessions. So what is a session? It's essentially a five hour block of time that begins the moment you send your first message to Claude. So with both the $100 and $200 max plans, you get 50 sessions per month. And if you exceed that, Claude says they could limit your access. And on the $20 pro plan, it doesn't specifically specify how many sessions you have. So for now, it looks like it's unlimited, though that can always change. Let's break this down with an example. Say you sign up for the max plan today. You log into Claude Code at 9 a.m. and send your first message. That starts session number one. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., everything you do, whether you're actively coding or just idle, it all gets counted as part of that one five-hour session. Now, depending on your plan, here's what your usage limits looks like. On the $20 Pro plan, you get around 45 messages per session. On the $100 Max plan, you get about 225 messages. And on the $200 Max plan, you get around 900 messages. Now here's where things get a little tricky. The moment 2 p.m. hits, the first session ends. If you send a message at 2.01 p.m., even something simple like a follow-up question or a thank you, you have automatically started session number two. That session number two now runs from 2.01 p.m. to 7.01 p.m. with all your usage limits resetted. And here's the frustrating part. Maybe you didn't intend to start that new session. Maybe you were wrapping things up at 2 p.m. and you just want to say thank you to Claude for all its help. Well, if that message gets sent out at 2.01 p.m., you have now started an entirely new session, even though you didn't mean to. That single message starts session number two. So now you're down to 48 sessions. And that is really annoying. Most people won't be tracking when they started a session and how much time remains in their session. They shouldn't have to, right? That it's not practical. So my question to Anthropic is, if a user accidentally starts a new session, say by sending a few messages right after the previous session ends, should that really count as a full session? It feels like there has to be some type of backend logic to handle cases like this. Maybe Claude actually allows for 50 full length sessions and those short one-off sessions don't get counted the same way. I feel I might be overly optimistic here, but to me, that just feels like a more fair and user-friendly approach. That said, since the Max plan has only been around for a few weeks, there just isn't any clear data or official words from Claude on how it handles situations like this. I totally understand where Anthropic is coming from. They definitely implemented this 50 sessions per month cap to limit potential abuse. Let's take a look at an extreme example. So assume we're on the $100 max plan, and remember on this plan, we get 225 messages per session. So going with this example, this is gonna be about five sessions per day, because that's about 24, 25 hours per day. So five sessions per day, this times 30 days in one month, this is gonna get you about 150 sessions per month. Now, 150 sessions per month times 225 messages, this is gonna get you about 33,750 messages per month. And assuming a message query costs 25 cents, this is gonna cost Claude $8,500 compared to your $100 that you pay for this plan. Now, if we assume a message query cost about 50 cents, this is gonna cost Claude around $17,000 versus your $100. So yeah, I can see why Claude might not be too happy. So here's my thought on this. If you're able to fully utilize those five hour blocks where you're actively coding and collaborating with Claude the entire time, then yes, I think 50 sessions per month is more than fair. But obviously this means you now have to be strategic in how you use Claude. You no longer can just randomly chat with Claude throughout the day because if you say send a message at 8 a.m. and then send another one at 3 p.m. and then send another one at 9 p.m., you have now used three sessions. 
And that's frustrating because people naturally want to interact with Claude when they need it, not according to a rigid schedule. Having to plan your usage just to avoid wasting sessions, it feels very counterintuitive, especially for a tool that's meant to be helpful and accessible. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. From what I can see, the way the max plan is currently structured with its 50 sessions per month limit, it's really designed for developers or power users who can carve out uninterrupted five hour blocks to do focused work. If that's what you're trying to go for, the max plan could be a great fit. And obviously the max plan has features that's not available on the pro plan, such as research and now Claude code, so if you wanna try those features, then yeah, you have to buy the max plan. But if your usage is more casual, maybe you prefer chatting with Claude throughout the day, then the max plan probably isn't the best fit. In that case, the $20 pro plan might actually be better. Even though it comes with a lower message cap, it supposedly has unlimited sessions per month, so it gives you more flexibility to chat with Claude whenever you want without having to worry about burning a session. Let me know if this was helpful and if anyone has any questions.